Hello and welcome everybody to another action figure review. My name is Tyler G of Batman Figs on Instagram, as well as co-host of DC Figures and Collectibles, which is a toy slash collector podcast available on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, basically anywhere you could hear a podcast. Today, we have a first in terms of reviews. This is the first time that I've gotten a bullet head toy which is uh, a soft goods figure they've made a few i know scott who is uh the co-host also of dc figure and collectibles he recently got a bullet head heath ledger joker so if you want to go check out the pictures he's done you can go check out his page at the dot bat fan or you could uh also go check out our podcast because he shows it off on that um which is also on youtube but Let's first take a look at the box. You can see the figure. I got V from Vendetta. Here's the box it comes with. It is, um, oh, Superman down. It is a cardboard box, not metal or anything like that. And then you open it. Just like that. You can see some of the accessories. He mainly comes with his knives, a removable hat, two more sets of hands besides the set he has so he has six in total and he comes with the rose which if you've seen the film you know the importance of the rose okay so let's take a look at him and you can see his hair is real and that is one thing that freaks me out since his hair is real i'm afraid that after a while, it's going to uh, start falling out or get damaged. But here's his face. I think it, the everything on it in terms of uh, the face is great. The hair is great. The clothing's perfect. You could take off the cape by taking off the head. The only thing, um, in terms of articulation, everything's good. He has double elbow. He has double knee. Um, he has thigh rotation thigh cut the only thing is is his boots don't have any rotation whatsoever it's no ankle no pivot they're just what you see is what you get he also with the hands it's whatever the hands they don't have much movement they could rotate like that but they don't have any real up and down or hinge as you were or as you would have it so there are certain parts of it that are limited in articulation but i mean the knives themselves you see he comes with six and you can put them as uh in the little slots just like the movie on his belt they feel heavy duty i don't know if they have their part metal or they feel like they're a metal um but not too heavy duty of the metal if that makes sense the cape is nice it's flowy i do wish they would have had wires in it and then, like I showed you, it's already off. His hat's removable. Here's the rose he comes with. It's decent, decent sculpt. If I could let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Uh, I'll show you the other hands. So, he comes with a pair that almost look like they're throwing or they're pointing fingers. And then this hand, I don't know what this is supposed to be. And it also comes with this hand, which I think this is more, uh, I think this is the rose hand or supposed to be the... And that's able to hold the rose. So, in total, he comes with six hands, three pairs, six knives, a real hair rooted into the scalp, head sculpt, a beautifully done Guy Fox mask. And just so you see, his head can rotate. 
I just, I'm afraid to move it too much with the hair because I just don't want to damage the hair. I know that's kind of the point of getting action figures to use it and move it, but I'm gonna have to be really uh, limited and what's it really thought out with how I want these poses to be and strategic in how I do them. Uh, oh, let's do some size comparison. I mean, overall, the one figure that you could get besides, oops, the one figure you could get that was a Guy Fox figure before this came out was a NECA, and I think it was seven inch, or you could get the foot long, but the NECA 12 inch could, I mean, the NECA six inch could barely move. I don't think his arms bent at all at the elbow, so it was not a great figure, plus because it was the only figure, the scalping prices were crazy. So I'm, I'm very happy to have this figure, especially because the movie's one of my favorites. So here he is next to a couple of Soap Studios figures, which is also a 112 scale soft goods action figure line. And you can see that that fits in pretty nicely. Next, we'll put him next, put him next to Here's a Mezco Catwoman, another soft goods line, Mezco. I get her to stand. You can see she fits in nicely. Here's a DC collectible Batman animated series. And this is the DC collectibles. And here I'll put the newest McFarlane animated series next to him so you can see how he scales. There you go. He doesn't even fit in frame, he's so big. And then next, I'll back this up. I'll put the new McFarlane Superman. Come on. With the other McFarlane Batman. Which stands a little easier. And you can see the, uh, I feel like McFarlane might, because here's a, McFarlane's supposed to be a seven inch line. Here's a diamond select and they're supposed to be seven inch. And they look, these look like they might be more toward the seven and a half inch to eight inch. Well, anyway, do I recommend getting this V for Vendetta figure? Well, yes, especially if you're a fan of the movie. But not only that, this figure is very cool. It's unique, especially to the movie. It's one of the better comic book films. And if you haven't seen it, go see it. But, uh, I mean, for usually Mezco's anywhere from 75 to 80, 85 plus shipping. And it ends up being over $100. And this starts off around 60 And I would say it's uh, on quality with, I mean, at least with this Catwoman. And that's a Mezco. So, if you're a fan, or do you just want a new figure, a cool new figure to shoot, I would say definitely get this. Don't be afraid because, you know, it's hard to find and you can only usually get shipping from China. The wait sucks. It did take about a week and a half, but I would say the wait is worth it as well. So, I'm extremely happy with uh, the figure itself. I don't think it's a waste of money. The only the only thing I'm not looking that I'll have to get back to you on is uh, how long before the hair starts falling out, and or if it does, who knows? Hopefully, it's it holds up. But if you want to see more pictures, head over to Batman Figs on Instagram, Batman F I G S. You can see more pictures. I already have a few up, and I'll do a few more, of course, because I absolutely love this film and I love this figure. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed.